So another type of gold hunting is called high banking. Now that covers a rather broad range of terms. But basically what it means is you're going up on the banks, up high, out of the river, and you're going to try to find gold up there. Now you can dig holes back here where you think the gold might have run one time and try to get down to bedrock over here, but you're talking about moving six to eight feet of dirt to get to bedrock over here. Why do that when you can get gold over here? Makes no sense unless you have no other choice. Other thing is, a lot of times gold will come up here and settle in the wintertime. So water flows down there, gets going slow down here because the river gets a little bit wider when the water's up this high, of course, at the time. Comes up over here and gradually slows out on this bank and just kind of drops it out here going up the bank. Now that happens mostly on the inside curves of rivers where it goes in. You know, the outside curve of the river goes around like the outside. There won't be any gold over here because the water's flowing too fast. There'll be gold on the inside because the water flows slower there. So the inside curve or up on a high bank on the side of a slow, straight flowing river, those places will have gold. Now that gold gets deposited every year. It's fine, usually flower type gold that'll get settled up there and digging it out will generate some gold. I'm not a particularly a big fan of this type of gold prospecting because usually it doesn't pay enough to make me happy. A lot of people are very satisfied with a lot less gold than I'm satisfied with. I want to take home minimum wage or so or I'm not interested in working it. And I'm almost always able to do that. Meanwhile, those disclaimers aside, this is how you do it. So what you want to do, gold won't be setting on top. These big rocks on top, those got deposited here and the gold got washed around them and down underneath it. But you're not really trying to get down to bedrock here either. So you're trying to get through the rocks on the top down to where you start seeing soil. Now we're not expecting to find any nuggets up here or anything large at all because most of the nuggets will have settled out down there because they won't have been able to get washed up on here because they were just too heavy. So we're trying to get down to where we start seeing this soil, like right here. And that's where the gold would have dropped down to and settled. The reason it doesn't always find bedrock here is because there's not enough water flowing over it. See, out there in the middle of the river, you've got water rolling past this rocks all the time. It's always stirring it. Things are always happening to it. Winter comes, big floods, spring time. Summer it slows down and drops and so on. Up here in the bank, you get one big flood, deposits it, and it stops. And so it doesn't have the agitation to work it down to bedrock as much. However, it has enough that it keeps working its way down year by year. And so what you have is flower gold kind of generally is distributed all the way down towards bedrock. That means that what you're working with here is last year's gold. Now, if you have a great spot for gold, this may pay for itself. Personally, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So you scrape off this top stuff. Don't need to get loosened. Now that you're down to dirt, you take this area here. And you scoop that in your bucket. You're just trying to go down about an inch or two. And just take that inch or two layer right underneath the rocks all the way along this bank. Dump it in your classifying bucket. Now if you're in a place where there is no water, you can do this classifying screen dry, like this. It's a little bit harder because there's no water to offset the weight of the rocks. And it's not so easy to work with because you don't get the rocks as clean. And so you may have gold still sticking to this, and you're just going to have to accept that if you don't use water. Or, if you're in a dry place, you can haul in a little bit of water, like 15 or 20 gallons will work a whole day of classifying if you're careful and conserve your water. Come over here and dump just enough water in the bottom to cover up that screen and about two inches of rocks. And that's a much better job there. So then we do this, going along in a basically straight line, scraping off the top rocks, not interested in those. Then loosening up these, just an inch or two, and scooping up that dirt. And once you've walked a straight line across here, as far as you want to go, you come back, and next time you come through here, you scrape off about another, another foot over here. And you scrape it right back where you just were. And now we'll walk that dirt out and put it in here. And you can walk this in a straight line all the way across this bank as much as you want. And you can always sample this way and see what you think of the bank before you commit to it. Because you're using the same basic tools as you would for the main crevicing and other things, in fact you use less tools because you're mostly just using this and it's loose. 
But um, so now we're in this through a pan and see what we found with those two little buckets. Probably about a gallon of classified material. Okay, so here we have a place that people have worked a lot, and some people went to a lot of effort to get this cleaned out. I mean, they really moved a lot of dirt to get down to bedrock over here, when the actual level of the bedrock dirt's about up to here. So, they moved a lot of dirt. The thing is, without having water and a sucker upper, they could not have gotten all the dirt out of the bottom. So they moved off all the top dirt for us, getting down to the bottom here. I'm thinking there should be quite a bit of gold down in these crevices that they just couldn't clean out. And so, to test that theory, I brought a five-gallon bucket of water from the river, which is about eh, 20 or 30 yards that way and my sucker up and we're going to see if we can suck some stuff out with it. Okay, so we sucked that out and we did find a couple of small pieces of gold, but not enough to justify working here. So my bet is that they probably didn't find a whole lot of gold either, which I'm surprised they did this much work if they didn't find much gold, but I've really been amazed at how much work people will go to for a very small amount of gold compared to what I expect out of a day. But once you start knowing what you can get of gold, I guess you expect a little bit more. So, we're going to give up on this place now, but regardless of the fact it didn't work here, it'll work other places. You can go behind people who have done this type of things to the high banking, clean it down to the bedrock, let, walked away, and left all the crevices still with dirt in the bottom of them. In place that happens, there could be some good gold down at the bottom that they just could, could not get out without these tools.